everybody. Welcome to the party. <laughs> um, I'm going to wait about a minute for some people to arrive and then I will start talking to you guys just about my posh story. I want to tell you how I was introduced to posh and rejected posh <laughs> and then how I ended up coming to join, how my business started to grow. Don't worry, it won't take forever. I'll probably just be on here for about five to ten minutes um, but I do want to also answer any questions that you guys might have off the cuff. We're going to provide you some informational posts tomorrow, um, but we really just want to keep this mostly conversational and talk about what questions you have. Hello, Erica. Hello, Jessica. So um, let's see. I joined Posh in December of 2014, which seems like ages ago now, but I was first introduced to Posh in around um, June or July of that year, 2014. I had recently moved to California and a friend that I um, had known from the internet actually had recently started selling Posh and we went out to lunch together like once a month or so. And so the it was June or July, and she was like, hey, I started selling this Posh stuff, and I really like it. If you want, I can give you some samples. I was like, oh, no thanks. I'm not interested in those kinds of companies. And whatever, and she was respectful of that, and la-di-da. So then we go out to lunch again the next month, and she's like, you know, I still really love my Posh. I think you would love it. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, honey, I totally understand. I'm not interested. Just save those samples for somebody else. Don't worry about it. And she's like, they're totally free. I'm like, no, that's okay. I'm good. And I kept putting her off. Literally every time we would get together, she wasn't annoying about it at all, but she would, you know, make mention of it or use her hand cream in front of me. And I was just absolutely not interested. And then fast forward to, I think it was September or October-ish, I attended a home party. You know, back when we used to be able to go to each other's homes, but whatever. Um, I attended a home party for, uh, the hostess was a girl I knew from the gym. So I go to the home party thinking I'm just going to have some wine and cheese and I'll try this stuff, whatever. So then I get there, they put all the products out, they do the presentation and I'm like, oh, that sounds nice. I'm still not really interested. But then I tried some of the products. I did um, a face mask, I did the moisturizer and I did the hand cream and I bought a moisturizer because the moisturizer like brought me back. You know how a smell or um, something can like transport you in time back to a certain time? Well, the moisturizer did that to me. It had a slight lavender scent and it brought me back to like my very first spa experience. Blah, blah, blah. Anyway, I was really impressed with the products and you guys, I am a super snob. It takes a lot to impress me. And so it was pretty cool that I was impressed. So I bought the moisturizer and I bought a gender bender soap. Mind you, this was almost six years ago, and we still have that gender bender. It is like a staple. And actually, the moisturizer that I bought was night and day, and it recently just came back. So anyway, blah, blah, full circle. So I bought the soap, and I put it into my shower. You guys, my boyfriend is like a mountain man. He doesn't care about soaps or lotions. He doesn't care about any of that stuff. He has no opinion, but he showers like twice a day because... He works outside and he gets gross. Anyway, he got out of the shower that day and I was like, hey, babe, where'd that awesome soap come from? And I was like, mm, what? You have an opinion about soap? And so that was the second thing that super impressed me about Perfectly Posh, the company that I had effectively avoided for months and months and months. So then I reached out to my friend that I had lunch with all the time and I had tried to present Posh to me that I effectively rejected and I let her know I had gone to a party and I was actually pretty impressed with the products and I was familiar enough to know in direct sales that sometimes there's some kind of an extra kit bonus. Right now we have um, the monthly exclusives that you get when you join and that's the only way you can get them. Back then it was an extra deal once in a while. So I told her I was interested in buying a kit, but I was absolutely not going to sell anything. But if she could keep me posted on any kit deals or kit bonuses that came out, I would be interested. So October goes by, November goes by, December goes by. And I reached out to her and I was like, I'm still interested. And she was like, okay, I didn't want to be annoying. Anyway, the last four days of December, there was an extra thing where you got some extra feet product products in addition to the kit. And so I bought my $99 kit after... I told my sponsor, Tracy, that she had to promise me I did not have to sell $1 in Posh. I was like, is the kit police going to come try to like charge me more? Am I going to have some kind of a fee? Absolutely not. You do not have to sell $1. Come on board. 
So I did it. I bought my kit. It was December 27th of 2014. I swear I'm going somewhere with this story, you guys. <laughs> and if you think of questions, ask me. Um, okay, so I was planning on not selling at all. My kit came into my house. It sat on, I remember it like yesterday, it sat on my kitchen island for like three or four days. I just wasn't, you know, super jazzed to open it. I was excited about the products, but I was like, whatever, I'm not doing this business. Well, I let her add me to the team pages on Facebook just, you know, to kind of poke around. And I found out about the props. I found out about our quick start goals. So there were 30, 60, and 90 day um, goals, which we still have today, props. And you can, I was gonna say win, oh God. You can earn a bonus amount of stuff. You can earn bonus credit, free products, la la la. And I am motivated by free, like, whoa. So I was super excited to earn the props and I decided to give my business a go for 90 days. Now, mind you, when I joined, I had no friends. I felt like I had no friends. Obviously I had friends, but I didn't feel like I had like an ultra rich market for this type of business. So when I jumped in with both feet, I knew I was going to try my best, but I didn't think I was going to get anywhere. But try my best I did, and my business did start to grow because you guys, these products sell themselves. When you get the posh on the people and you follow up, just as a considerate follower upper, People want to buy or they want to host or maybe even want to join your team. So my business really started to grow. And as it started to grow, it made me like so excited that I put that much more effort into it and it grew that much faster. 18 months later, I hit Platinum Premier, which was the top of the company. I was into a six figure a year paycheck. Like I was making huge money with Posh within two years of starting. Mind you, once I did start to work the business, I worked it a lot. I'm not going to lie to you and tell you you can make a huge income with very part-time hours. I worked super hard at my business, but I was able to grow it that much faster because of that. Posh has completely changed my life. I have traveled the world, traveled the country with different incentive trips for different Posh events. I have met so many friends. I could never in a million years say I have no friends now. Um, and it's just totally changed my life. I have a farm now. <laughs> I never thought I would start a farm. But when you have a little extra disposable income, sometimes you decide to buy pigs. You know, whatever. <laughs> Hi, Wendy. Um, so yeah, so Posh has just made such an incredible difference in my life. And I started having absolutely no interest in a business. So if you take nothing else away from my animated story, <laughs> know that you absolutely do not have any pressure on you to do anything. But also know that we do have those props goals and I absolutely encourage you to give it your all for 90 days, for three months. If you genuinely try to share this business, to share these products over three months, you're going to find some customers, you're going to find some hostesses, and somebody might even want to join your team. And it's a slippery slope from there. I'm telling you, when you start hitting goals and earning extra achievements, and maybe even earning trips, you're going to be addicted and Posh is going to become a bigger part of your life. Absolutely not required, but that's probably how it's going to go down. Um, do you guys have any questions for me? Because that's basically the end of my story. <laughs> it's been six years. We've been through a lot of ups and downs, lots of changes. And I feel like Posh has never been in a stronger position than they are now. We have an incredible leadership team and they are in super communication with top leaders in the company to really understand um, and work on what we need as a consultant base. I had a lot of um, you know, anxiety going into working my business, but you reach out to your sponsor. She's going to help you. If, um, your sponsor is not as active in the business as you would like, then you go to your next leader. There's, I don't, I hate using the word sisterhood cause it seems a little tried and true, but it really is, um, you know, a neighborhood. Let's call it a neighborhood. It's a neighborhood of poshers and everybody is really eager. Most people are really eager to help each other. And it's a really great synergy. And I just, I just love my posh business so much. <laughs> so uh, Wendy said she loves how I have pigs and chickens. It's a true Lauren said community. Thank you. Neighborhood community. It's a great community. And it's really, it's just impacted my life so, 
so very much and I absolutely never in a million years thought that it would. So I would really love for you guys to just, you know, kind of think to yourself, what if it could make a difference to me? You have nothing to lose, right? Because you can buy the $99 kit, you get products in the kit. So just keep the products and don't work the business, it's fine. But maybe try the business because it might change your life. I'm headed to Mexico in a couple of weeks. I'm a little nervous about traveling, but it's a free trip that I earned and I'm so freaking excited. I can't wait. If you guys have any questions whatsoever, drop them down here in the comments. Like I said, we're going to have some informational posts for you tomorrow. Alyssa is going to go live. I think she'll probably tell her story tomorrow as well. Um, and we're going to draw for the door prize tomorrow too. So yeah, thank you guys so much for taking the time to consider, you know, letting Posh into your life. I hope you have a great weekend and I'll see you later. How do I end this?